I am here aboard the HMBS Trident, about to take a journey out to sea to Carlisle Bay to see the scuttling of the MV Trident, the former flagship of the Barbados Coast Guard. This Heroes Day was not only a time for a profound farewell, but many heartfelt hellos were expressed as the Coast Guard's former officers who once set sail on the MV Trident reunited. The MV Trident received nothing less than an honorable send-off. The very waters it once sailed to protect, it now sunk to sustain. After serving the Barbados Coast Guard for 28 years, its duty is now to become an eventual reef, strengthening our coastline and underwater life. Submerged in 90 feet of water, the MV Trident will also become a new dive site. Many came out to witness this historic event. The shore was littered with persons and the water proved a great vantage point for those in pleasure crafts, jet skis, fishing vessels and kayaks. There was even a drone capturing the ship's final descent. It was a bittersweet moment for the crew who worked on this vessel since the 1980s. Retired Chief Petty Officer Trevor Peterson was one of the officers who expressed it was an emotional day for him. He won a competition back in the 1980s to name the ship. Rudy R. Lewis um, at the time was Deputy Chief of Staff. Uh, while we were mustered on the Bark Square at St. Anne's Fort, he put out a challenge to the soldiers who were mustered with the competition of naming the flagship to which Barbados would be getting. Also two converted trip trawlers that were supposed to be given and the, the new base. So I have decided to enter the competition by submitting the name HMBS Trident, taking the title Trident from our independence flag, also from the breakaway of Barbados from England through our independence, as well as some history taken from the Greek pathology, the Sea God Nectron. I'm glad to be here at this historic occasion, the sinking of the MV Trident. This is particularly important because it diversifies the destination's product offering, creating a new and phenomenal attraction for divers in particular. The MV Trident joins six other shipwrecks in the Carla Bay Marine Park, including the well-known Bajan Queen, which went down in May 2002. The sunken vessel is now Barbados's newest attraction.